hello and very warm welcome to swift tutorials in today's video we are going to learn about ui stack view we are going to use xcode version 9.2 and our language version will be swift 4 so let's start open up your xcode and create a single view application template project and name it ui stack view tutorial so let's learn something about ui stack view first so ui stack view as per apple documentation is a streamlined interface for laying out a collection of views in either column or a row so UI stack view provides us the power of auto layout that dynamically adapt to the device orientation screen and any changes so that is available on that particular space of UI stack view. So here you can see in the stack view if we are placing the object and all the spaces are maintained by the UI stack view and we don't have to do anything else because we don't need to give any constraints for the subviews of the stack view. We only need to give the constraint to our stack view and all the other things will be maintained by the stack view. So here you can also see the node. You are responsible for defining the position and the size of the stack view. The stack view then manages the layout and size of its content. So we don't need anything else. So let's see how the UI stack view works and let's see it in examples open up your Xcode and here first we'll create uh, IB outlet for our stack view our outlet week where stack view of type UI stack view and here open up your main dot storyboard make it and here from the object library we will drag a UI stack view and we will creating a vertical stack view okay now let's give it the constraints so here remove this and to safe area we will say 0 or maybe 10 10 10 and the bottom will be 10 okay so here it is now if I add a button here UI button okay now I added the button too and you can see it will take all the space okay because the content are all automatically adjusted as per the space provided by the UI stack view since we have given the constraints to fill all the screen for stack view so it's managing the UI button let me change the color and you will see Okay, so here it is the pink color now if I drag one more button here you can see the its changes and here so it's showing the blue button and here it is so it's giving the error that the button hugging property so for this if let me make one more thing let us remove the bottom constraint so here it is leading its bottom here and here you can see this step let me make okay so here you can see now if I give this button a height constraints I need only need to give height constraints if I want to change the height because leading trailing top and bottom are automatically adjusted by the stack view okay so say 60 and I add one constraint so you can say 60 similarly I give it to the second view a height constant of 100 okay so here now if you I want to place a space between these two control then what we have in stack view property inspector we have different properties of stack view that it exists that is vertical stack view or horizontal that we, if we are horizontal then you can see this the stack view will adjust horizontally otherwise vertically alignment will be fill or leading to trailing if I say leading to trailing then it's shows the buttons as per the infringing content size and center then it plays into center and trailing then it moves to the trailing part okay so let's make it fill and distribution will be fill equally fill equally and here fill proportionally and here it is so equal spacing and here spacing is default so if I say 20 pixel then you can see a gap between 20 pixel here so now if let let me add one more I use this and paste it so it's added one below one below one below 
let me move this to here so here we can see so this is the stack view and the main advantage of using stack view that we don't have to add constraints to the contents of the UI stack view so let's connect our stack view here with our stack view okay now open up view controller and let's see how we can access it programmatically that is removing or adding views to it always when you are using vertical stack view let me run this when you are using vertical stack view then you the all the controls are writing from top to bottom and in horizontal it's from left to right okay you can access all the stack views using property self dot stack view dot arrange sub views so here it provides all, all the sub views that are added to the stack view so for example let's remove this blue one and you can see the main advantage that it automatically adjusts the space this button will move up and will make a space of 10 or 20 pixel whatever we given and in while if we are using ui scroll view and other things then we have to maintain all the things that setting the top constraint to 20 pixel and other stuff so let's see it whether it's do the same or not so we say for vw means view in self dot view arrange sub view okay then let's say index oops where index is equals to zero and here we say if index is equals to equals to one then or don't make this just give it a tag that more easy way so here we will give it a tag of 10 okay so we want to remove the blue button and here if vw dot tag is equals to 10 then we will say vw dot remove from super view and the break the loop okay so now you can see let me make it in a selector so you can see it clearly let me make selector first at it obgc function keyword and then say remove second button and here it is let's me paste and here i will call self dot perform selector as selector and opt nil and time will be 2.0 seconds and here i will pass my selector here okay now if i run the app and you can see all the contents were arranged accordingly so here it's equals to comparison okay now let's run the app so here you can see our stack view is built up and you can see when the second view is removed the controls automatically adjusted their position as per the space given to them so this is the main advantage of UI stack view and if you want to add one more then here let's see let's add add another view and here we say add that opgc function add So let btn is equals to ui button and say btn dot background color is equals to ui color dot green and here we'll say self dot stack view dot add arranged sub view and here we can add our button and let's see so let's run the app here we will see one one view is moved the other one is added so here you can see the blue one is gone 
and the green one is added since we haven't given the height to our button or frame to our button then it's just showing this little greener and this is the UI stack view that in this stack UI while using UI stack view don't have to maintain the sizes or frames or constraints of the contents of the UI stack view or you can say the sub views you don't have to maintain the constraints of the sub views of the UI stack view so this is a very great control provided by Apple as these kind of facilities are available in Android and so now these are also available on iOS and here in this tutorial you learn how to use UI stack view in our next tutorial we will learn how to make a scroll available UI stack view with buttons or views if you like this video then give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet then please subscribe our channel as we will provide more videos on Swift in coming weeks so that you can get notified as soon as we publish the new video and thanks for your time thanks for watching the video have a nice time ahead bye for now